Welcome to Coloring in Photoshop CC. Let's take a look. The first thing I did was imported this from the Coloring Book uh, info page. And now, before I color, I want to look along the edges. And I can see that there are some weeks. Now I can change those by adding a little bit to it, but an easy way to fix it is to go to the cropping tool and now I will just ease into the sides just a little bit. You can see I've cut off the area there. In the bottom I'll do the same and then along the left side. That looks good so I'll hit enter and now I don't have to mess with leaks which can be problematic. The first thing I'll do is check my image mode if it's in grayscale, I want to change it. I'm going to change it to RGB color. That's a pretty good option. If it's there, I leave it. Now I can see I have a background. But I'm going to need some layers, so I'm going to just click on the new layer button a few times. One, two, three, four, five maybe. Let's start with that. Uh, I will start with the water. I'll make the water on top. And there's the water. And I can uh, use my eraser. In this case, I don't want Nemo, so I have to go to my background layer. I'll unlock it. And I want to take him away. Wow, look what happened. If I take away the background layer, I have nothing below it. So I'll make a new layer. And this new layer, I'm going to place below the background layer. I'm going to make sure that's white, so I'm going to go under Edit, and I'm going to Fill, and I'm going to choose White. Well, that looks good. Now everything's white that is there. I'll come back to my water layer, and let's see what color do I want. Oh, I kind of like, like a light green, maybe, bluish green, and I'll choose my paint bucket tool, and I need to make sure all layers is selected up here. If not, if it's off, everything will get colored. So instead I make sure it's on. I'll go to edit and undo the paint bucket. With it on, you can see it will only paint the areas that I want it to paint. So now I have my water. What's my next one? Well, let's me, let me go with Nemo's dad, so I'll just type in dad. That's how I change the later name. Uh, we'll do this one with Dory. And let's see. I have the path. And then I'll go ahead and I'll do the shells too. Sometimes it's hard to keep track of the layers. If you name them it helps. So for Dory, I'll come in and I'll choose a blue. Now, if you have your color palette selected like this, you can pick whatever you want. For me, the swatches are easier. I can kind of choose what I want. Now, as I'm in the Dory layer, then I'll come in and I'll choose Dory and make it blue. I'll do a Control z That was a little bit dark, I think. And we'll come back and make something that's a little bit brighter, maybe. Uh, let's try that one. That looks better. So now I believe this area here was a black color. I'm not going to go all the way black because if I need to undo it, it won't tie in with the background. I believe that the fins were yellow. So I can come in here and I can start on the fins. I paused that so you didn't have to watch me do all of the fins. Now I'm going to switch to... Dory's dad, find a color that I like, maybe a nice bright orange, and let's go ahead and color this with the orange. All right, that looks pretty good there. Now, if you miss a spot, like you can look in and you can see that there are some areas that might not be done, like in the top, I can do Control Plus and I can keep going in until I can actually get my paintbrush into the area that I want and control zero to bring it back out for the full screen. So now I guess I'm ready to do the path. I'll pick a color, I'll pause the video, and then you can see what's been done. In this case, I'll 
choose maybe a lighter color that looks pretty good and add a couple edges that are a little different color maybe yellow like this that looks good and then for those shells maybe something brighter maybe a red and because I like purple I'll add a little purple one in there too and we'll call that pretty well done now do you notice that when I did that I didn't change layers I'm over here on the path I changed it and I put shells down but the path and the shells became one so in this case I'll just eliminate this layer because I really don't need it and I'll hit the delete key and now the shells will be part of the path now for the dodge and the burn we're gonna come over to the dodge and burn tool they're right over here the dodge makes it lighter the burn tool makes it darker so let's go ahead and see what happens there. I'm going to pause this and go to video two to show you how to do.